New Zealand emergency services and defence personnel began evacuating hundreds of tourists and residents from the South Island town of Kaikoura on Tuesday after Monday's earthquake which killed two people. Kaikoura, a popular base for whale watching about 150 kilometres northeast of Christchurch and near the epicentre, was completely cut off by massive landslips. Around 1,200 tourists were stranded in the town, officials said, with many forced to stay in makeshift campsites and make do with whatever food became available. I'm uh, travelling around with my dad. He arrived, he's from the Netherlands, he arrived here on Friday. And he might go home, he's, he's knackered. Crayfish, actually, I never thought that I would have crayfish for breakfast in this situation. In Wellington, Prime Minister John Key told reporters many nations have offered assistance. Uh, overall, the government's priorities remain uh, on both the short, the medium and the long-term issues and uh, the resolution of those. The first is we think there's a, a list of about 140 people that we're looking to get out of um, Kaikoura as rapidly as we can. They're on a priority list. It's obviously subject to weather. Um, in terms of the air support for that, because that's the fastest way out, we have four NH-90 helicopters that are in Woodburn. They can provide uh, the ferrying services. But <clears throat> as you're aware, the USS Samson is in town as part of the 75th uh, anniversary of the Navy. It has two helicopters on board, and the Americans have offered those two helicopters to provide uh, ferrying services as well. In addition to that, the Americans have a P-3 Orion, which they're going to add to our P-3 Orions to undertake the aerial surveillance work, and the Malaysians have also offered a helicopter. Long queues formed outside of supermarkets as residents rushed to buy supplies. Don't take more than you need. We're not sure when we're going to get new stock, but we've got a, there's a big community to feed here, so we just can't be selfish. We've got to really try and make it work for everyone. Bloody marvellous, thank you. <laughs> You've been waiting for a bit, eh? Well, it was the water I wanted mainly. <laughs> Hundreds of homes remained without power and telecommunications, with huge cracks in roads, landslips and other damage to infrastructure.